WWPV, what is happening? We got the O Show here. We actually have a member of the old uh, 3 O Show here as well. And we have, I don't know, remember what your name was. Um, Steve. Steve. <laughs> he is DJ Steve, yeah. <laughs> Yep, that's our freshman year fun. Um, but tonight, today, we're actually having some fun. Uh, we have Lissy in studio. Hello, Lissy. Hello. How was the drive up? It was great. It was really pretty. Uh, I think we kind of took like a back way and um, saw a bunch of cute towns, and it's very beautiful here. First time in Vermont. Oh, booyah. Yeah. Yeah, you'll hit it on the right time. Yeah. Leaves are starting to change. You can probably pull that microphone okay. a little bit I was closer. That. Sorry. Yeah, no, I'm just making oh. sure. I don't know if we were picking <laughs> up, so. Um, yeah, did you get to take 89 up? Do you remember? We took... The 22? 22. Okay. Yeah, 22. Yep. I don't know, 22. I just know 7 and 89. Those yeah. are the two that... Okay. 22 to 7 and then 89. Yeah, seven's beautiful. I, I like I like that drive a lot. Yeah. Okay. Yep, so excited for the show tonight? I'm very excited. This is like... I, I did these house concert um, shows in Manchester this weekend, uh, which was awesome, but this is like the first kind of official show and my openers are going to be joining me chase cole and tyler lyle so cool. are they good um, they're great yeah all right might have to play a, a song by them yeah yep yes um so i'll meet up with them after i leave here and have some food and like go check into the venue and maybe tomorrow i have a day off check out burlington and oh yeah i can give you some tips about burlington too please do it's a, it's a good little city um do you have a song that you're uh, especially proud of of all my material yeah well, I mean, it's hard to pick a favorite, but um, I kind of my go to answer is that there's a song called Everywhere I Go from Catching a Tiger. And it was also on yep. my first EP, Why You Running. And I'm really proud of that song more and that it's just in its simplicity. It's a pretty straightforward, simple song. But, you know, when I wrote it, it, it brought me comfort. And time and time again, I meet people who say like, oh, that song helped me get through some hard times. Mm -hmm. And that makes me feel great. So yeah, definitely. I'll go with Everywhere I Go. But I have a lot of favorites. I hear you. That's cool. So I got a question for you. Do you do you listen to Schoolboy Q at all? Um, I don't, but I know that he used my pursuit. Okay, I was not a hundred percent sure about hands that. Hands on the wheel. But yeah, yep. that's been a question of mine for a few years now. Um, yeah, I've I've heard them like, guys, it's Lucy. I promise. And they're like, yeah, why would Schoolboy Q? Yeah, yeah. I don't know him, and I never knew it was even happening. I feel like I was online one day and I saw something and I clicked on it and I was like, hey, that's me. But they kind of manipulated my voice, so it doesn't sound exactly Yeah, no, like it's, me. like, a little bit sped up or, uh, I don't know, something's yeah. a little bit different. No, it definitely gave me, like, some cred with my, like, yeah. little cousins. They thought I was pretty cool after that. <laughs> they thought I was a dork before, and now <laughs> I think I'm cool. Um, so, funny story. Uh, do you remember playing a show uh, before OAR in Minnesota? In White Bear Lake, maybe? Yeah, yeah. I do. Was it, it was some kind of, like, Oak fundraiser. on the water. It was or, Oak on the water. Oak on the water. Yes, yeah. I do. And it was packed. And it was a beautiful day. Mm -hmm. Brian, it was a beautiful uh, day. Brian, Brian, Brian's a man. Yeah, he he's been very supportive. Minneapolis has been a great market for us because yeah. they're just fun, nice people. Um, I do remember. Were you there? Yeah, I actually have a picture. Oh, oh. <laughs> and I had to show wow. that to you. I, th I thought it was really funny. I was like, yeah, no, nope, we've met before. Oh, cool. <laughs> oh, well, sorry, I didn't remember. There we are. <laughs> I knew you wouldn't remember, but yeah. had to, had to show that to you. So. Oh man, cool. I thought that was kind of funny. Um, do you have a favorite city to play in? Um, well, you know, Minneapolis is just so spectacularly welcoming and, like, excited about myself and my band. So, I mean, I don't have a favorite because there's lots of cool places. Like, I play in Norway a lot, and it's beautiful, mm -hmm. and they're really welcoming. Um, so, I don't know. I don't have a favorite. But Minneapolis is really good to me. First Ave, is that where you normally... Well, you played at um, uh, the Block Party one year, didn't you? Yeah, I played the Block Party one year. And then I've been playing... Um, I played at the Fitzgerald Theater last year. Oh, uh, okay. And yeah, yeah. most recently, I did a solo show there. I played at the Varsity. Oh, uh, Varsity's cool. And, like, like, sold it out. And it yeah. was just wild and fun. And I ended up having a saxophone player spontaneously Ooh. joining me. That's and that was stuff. really cool. <laughs> <laughs> so, um... Yeah, but, I mean, I like getting to see lots of different places. Mm -hmm. um, so I stalk you a bit on Instagram. Um, oh, yeah. And I saw that you biked across uh, Iowa for a part. A part, part of, of it. it? Yeah. I, my plan was, like, I toured from California to Iowa because um, I also moved mm -hmm. to Iowa this summer. So I, like, needed to get my car home. 
Um, so I, I toured my way to Iowa and then got there and took part in this thing called Reg Bri, which is a yeah. week long. Uh, yeah, I've had some friends that do it and they say oh. it's, it's too much fun. It's really, it really, really fun. People, I don't know how, some people, I mean, they're biking like 80 miles a day. Yeah. Some people choose to take like extra loops where they go 100 miles a day, but they're still stopping and like drinking in all these yeah, pass-through towns. I was going to say, it's a, it's a party a- after you're done biking, right? It, during, after, people, <laughs> and you camp because a lot yeah. of these small towns don't have enough hotel rooms, so it's just like tent city. Um, super awesome, but I uh, didn't realize like it wasn't even a concern of mine that like this after the second day, you know, I was really like feeling good. I was proud of myself. I'm 70 miles, mm-hmm. and like I couldn't use my um, fingers on my left <laughs> hand. My my pinky and my ring finger were completely like weak and like lifeless. That's not good. Um, so I, I did I did the next day, and then after the third day, I was like, well, I have to I can't play the guitar. Like I was trying to play the guitar, and I couldn't push the strings. So it turns out I like bruised a nerve from gripping my handlebars, um, which <laughs> meant that I not only couldn't finish out Reg Brian was disappointed, but that I um, couldn't play guitar, and I had mm-hmm. to go back out on tour like that following week. So I That's found. Really not good. It wasn't good, but it ended up being kind of this blessing in disguise because I found some different guitar players to learn my songs so I could just sing, which was weird at first, but then it was kind of freeing to just have to sing and not be, like, restricted by Mm -hmm. my moves. I had more moves when I didn't have to play the guitar. (laughs) Um, And I, but and so I had so much more fun because it was like I was playing with these different guitar players and then they were bringing their friends and one of the guitar players brought a saxophone player and it just turned out to be a neat thing to have uh, more different people join. So anyway, long story short, sort of did reg bry, but I hurt myself. <laughs> Would you suggest doing it though? Yes. If I have free time to do that? Yeah. I mean, it's definitely, you're going to want to train. Yeah. Uh, it's, it's a lot of biking. It's, it's a lot of miles <laughs> and, um, you know, you have to, the one thing I'm so glad I was told is you have to get this like chafing cream to put in your like bike shorts <laughs> because it's like, can imagine it gets real. So, um, look out for that. <laughs> Duly noted. <laughs> um, do you want to, want to play a song? Yeah. Is that cool? Sure. I would love to. Um, I'm going to play a new song. I have a new album that I'm going to oh, put yeah. out in February called my wild West. Ooh. Um, and I'm like kind of securing my distribution currently, but, um, that's the plan. And I, I had said earlier, I moved, um, I grew up in Rock Island, Illinois. I grew up in the Midwest and I, Midwest, woo woo. Woo woo. and I decided, um, like in March, very impulsively that I really just was ready. I love California, but I wanted to move back to be closer to my family. And there's this great town I like in Northeastern Iowa. Um, and I bought a farm and I am renovating a house and stuff. And so it's this huge, like sudden life change. Um, and I'm like, I was saying, I'm doing more solo touring and just, Mm-hmm. kind of creating the life I want to live. And um, I wrote a song, though, when I left California. I lived in a town called Ojai, which is just a magical, wonderful place that was awesome to me. And um, it was hard to say goodbye, so I wrote this song called Ojai. Cool. And I'm we'll just singing for you. for you. I don't know. Do you want one for your voice and one at the guitar? Mm, I don't know. You're the mic person. <laughs> well, let's go like that. Yeah. Hopefully that'll work. I think that'll work. <laughs> I'll try to like back up on the high, the loud notes or something, but I got a feeling like I'm almost there, and I think I might belong somewhere as I cut these ties. I realize. I'm 
bloom where I was planted. Oh. That was awesome. Oh, yeah. Thanks. So what town was that about again? Ojai. Ojai. O-J-A-I, California. And Kelly. I was there for six years. And um, But I also think it works because like, if you don't know what Ojai is, it co sort of can be a play on words like Ojai. Like, oh, hi. Oh, hi. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Because so, it's like, so goodbye. Oh, hi. Goodbye. It's pretty clever. So. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, what part of California is that? It's uh, southern, so I spent five years in Hollywood, actually, um, and then about an hour north of Los Angeles, hour and a half, is this town called Ojai, which is pretty mm -hmm. small and kind of off the off the road a bit, and um, used to be kind of more hidden. Now it's getting kind of hip, which is a bummer. But yeah, I hear you. Anyway. Do you like L.A.? Oh, uh, well, I did. <laughs> I did sometimes. Yeah. I mean... Being living in Hollywood when you're like 21 to 25 ideal, right? and like going just doing yeah. crazy stuff and meeting crazy people and um, you know I liked it for a time. I it allowed me to you know people there, I you know a lot of people talk about things they're gonna do or ideas they have and they don't really do them. But when you go to LA, I mean you, I have a lot of friends who went out there to be actors that are now like really successful actors or you know like people that I met. It was inspiring because. They make stuff happen for themselves. Yeah, um, that's cool. Once I was able to kind of like get my career going, I wanted to move to I, like I like nature and space and yeah. stuff, you know. Yeah, I guess that. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> like I, I can't imagine wanting to live in like a penthouse. That just sounds like you couldn't pay me to do that. <laughs> like, just put me in a tent in the middle of like a big yard, and you know, you'll be fine. <laughs> I'd be more, I'd be happier in that setting. Yeah. <laughs> Um, was it uh, was it a bit scary becoming like a full blown musician? Because you went to uh, Fort Collins, right? Uh, yeah, I went to Colorado State. Yeah. I mean, I always knew that I wanted to play music, and I was very kind of naively confident, which I think helped me. Okay, uh, I've gotten more like to where I worry more as I get older. I probably would be more like, oh, that's a hard thing to do. But I was like, oh, I'm just gonna go to LA and get a record deal. Um, so I I went to college, kind of knowing that I was probably gonna end up dropping out and just trying to be a musician. But I do wish now that I maybe would have taken the time to just enjoy college because I liked school. Mm -hmm. I'm actually thinking about go taking some classes now uh, for in business. I want to be a businesswoman. <laughs> um, run my own stuff, run my label. But anyway, I'm getting off track. I did go to Colorado State for two years. I did a semester abroad in Paris, and then I just moved Paris. to L.A., like sight unseen, just... Okay, I live in LA now, and I I wish I I mean I wasn't scared. It's weird. I used to be really ballsy. Mm -hmm. So that's cool. I had like no doubt in my mind that it would all work out. Is there a big difference between like touring America and then touring uh, over in Europe or the rest of the world? Um, I mean, in terms of the crowds, like not a huge one. I mean, there are like I 
go to Norway a lot. I could play in the UK, um, Germany, you know, places where I've gotten maybe, I can maybe go to Norway and like headline a festival, which yeah. that doesn't happen here in mm-hmm. the States. Um, but the crowds are similar. I think kind of the same kind of personality seems to like me and, you know, just pretty, I think, easygoing people. So it's always a good vibe. That's good. Um, a big age, age range. But I mean, it's, it's different. I mean, it's different. Just you turn on the commercials and they're in a different language or turn on the TV <laughs> and the commercials are in a different language or people talk funny or the food's <laughs> weird, you know, yeah. but then you go back to places enough times that it starts to become familiar. Like London's a very familiar place for me now. You're pretty big over there too. Cause you, you've had some success in the UK. Yeah. I've gotten to do some cool stuff there. Um, you know, especially around my first album. Uh, and Norway, though, is the one that just, like, I have a very, I have a love affair with Norway. <laughs> it's just beautiful. Go skinny dipping in the fjords after the shows. Mm-hmm. Everybody's just, like, ready to have a good time. It's, you know, the summertime's beautiful. The winter's beautiful. I mean, it's just a gorgeous place and good people. Cool. Yeah. I've heard that about Norway. Yes. Fortunately, I haven't been, my, uh, been there myself. But oh, you'll get there. Yeah, someday. Uh, You're from who, Minnesota. Everyone there's Norwegian. Right? Norwegian, yeah. maybe. <laughs> I'm all Irish. I'm I'm uh, the the part that's not six feet tall and blonde hair and <laughs> yeah. blue eyes and yeah, uh, that's not me. Okay. Yeah, I'm just a hairy little Irishman. <laughs> um, but uh, who uh, who did you listen to growing up? Like, who are your influences? Um, you know, really all over the place. I think I really was in a musical theater till I was really? like in junior high. I was Annie when I was little. So I, I was into that. <laughs> and then um, I was really into Sarah McLaughlin. Yep. I never say her last name. McLaughlin. Oh, McLaughlin. Yeah, I, I know you're talking Sarah about. Sarah McLaughlin. Yeah. Um, I, was, I was super into her. Like I, I owned like everything she'd ever done, but I can't even say her last name right. Um, <laughs> and her and like Fiona Apple and um, Cheryl Crow. I oh, mean, like Cheryl I really Crow. did. I love, I Cheryl, love Crow. Cheryl Crow. So much. She's so good. I, so I liked a lot of, you know, Liz Fair. Uh, exile you, you remind me a lot of Liz Fair, I'm not going to lie. Oh, really? Yeah, oh. yeah. I, 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 I see some similarities. I don't know really what her personality is like, but, um, yeah, so, I mean, I listened to that stuff, but then I got really into, like, classic rock and country, I like country music, and then I was into jam bands. Pretty, I love Fish, yeah. you know? This is my first time in Vermont, but, <laughs> um, you know, so I got in, when I was at Colorado State, I was seeing more kind of jammy things. Mm-hmm. Which didn't inform my style. I just that's what I kinda like listening to. But um Bobby Gentry is amazing. Not a lot of people know who yeah, she I've is. I've never heard that. Uh, name. she kinda just dropped off the scene. She like just quit music, but she's like the best one of the best songwriters ever. She was around in the seventies. So like Bobby Gentry, John Prine, Towns Van Zant. That's cool. Yeah. Good to know. Yeah. Do you wanna play another song? Do you mind? Uh, I don't know. I don't really want to. <laughs> no, I could. No, that's fine. I was if told you don't not want to, play to. One song. no, that's totally cool. No, you don't have to play one if you don't want to. Well, no, that's totally fine. I don't know. Now I feel bad if I say no. Everyone's gonna think I'm a diva. <laughs> um, <laughs> no. Let's just talk more. Yeah, because no, I kind can... of am getting hungry too. Yeah, so maybe that's... we'll just talk a little and then I'll eat and then rest my voice for tonight. Are you coming tonight? Oh yeah. No, I will definitely be there. Okay. Yep. I'm quite excited. Me too. Yep. Okay, is that okay? I'm sorry. Yeah, no, it's totally cool. I was just told I was gonna sing one song, so yeah, that's that, all I like. That's fine. We're we're not uh, to do. we're not gonna call you a diva. Don't oh. do not worry. Okay, good. <laughs> good. I, I don't want that. Ben or Abby, you guys got any questions? Anything uh, scratching your minds right now? <laughs> um, uh, let me let me think about it. Okay, we'll we'll come back. Oh, are you out of questions? Is that no, why you no. wanted me to play another no, song? No, it's fine. No, I, can, <laughs> I have questions in my head. Okay. Um, <laughs> huh. Hmm. Favorite song to cover? I'm gonna put you on the spot. We're just gonna do yeah. like 21 questions. It's gonna be well, like Spitfire right now. That Kid Cudi Pursuit of Happiness cover that we did was, I think, was big for us in um, terms of like people finding out who we were, and it never, you know, stops being fun to play. Um, but I like covering stuff that people wouldn't expect. Like we did a Judas Priest cover, which I'm not I say I'm not sure like if your generation is that familiar with Judas. Priest, but we did like I like to cover Metallica songs, and uh, <laughs> that's really cool. I covered, um, you know, but I've also then will cover like Lady Gaga and um, One Direction, you know, things that people aren't really expecting. Ex- expected, yeah. For a while, I was actually working on a Kendrick Lamar cover, but I never, I never really cool. figured it out. What so. what song were you trying to do? Swimming pools. Okay, cool. <laughs> yeah, because I drink too much, so I related to that song. <laughs> <laughs> 
Yeah. <laughs> yep. <laughs> we encourage it. You just swim in a pool full of liquor and you dive in it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> That's how it goes. <laughs> uh, did you drive out from Iowa? No, I flew to Albany and I rented a minivan and I. Um, it has an Iowa plate, so on it. Doesn't I know, it? isn't that weird? Yeah, I was like, goodness, yeah. I the drive. I was like, wow, it's kind of. That's a drive. Yeah, no, I. it was weird. I didn't even notice it at first, and then I think the people, this house concert thing I was doing over the weekend, they were like, your car has Iowa plates. I'm like, oh, yeah, it does. That's kind of weird. <laughs> so, yeah. Good shows in Manchester? Really good. It's this thing called Billsville House Concerts, and they um, host, like, I think Grease Potter's done one, and um, they're going to have this band Honey Honey come, and I, he'd been asking me for about five or six years to come and do it. And I just never really had routing that took me here or I was going to be, you know, I, it, it wouldn't make financial sense to like fly all my band and crew yeah. out to do like a house concert to 60 people. But once I knew I was doing an East coast solo tour, uh, it was like, all right, well, I'm going to be in the area. Yeah. Why not? Uh, I've always wanted to come to Vermont. I'm a big Bernie Sanders fan. Bernie! I did Woo. feel the burn. I campaigned a bit for Howard Dean back in the day. Oh, yeah. I, uh, Howard. I like fish. Um, <laughs> I like Ben, ben and Jerry's. Jerry's. Good ice Yeah, cream. I mean, it's just you're, you got a good thing going on here. It seems like you're pretty reasonable people. <laughs> so <laughs> from an outsider's perspective. <laughs> uh, yeah, so I've always, like, really, Vermont has been on, like, a top top place to go list for me for a while now. You've never played Vermont? No, I've never been to Vermont, except for now. So now I'm here. <laughs> Have you played in all 50 states? No. No? I haven't. Oh, okay. Um, I've not... Kansas? I don't think I've played in Kansas. <laughs> no. I've played in a lot of places, but um, a lot of places are I haven't. So, yeah, that's the answer. <laughs> Is it kind of weird, like, having more success uh, in over in Europe than here, and you're from here? Uh, no. Here as in America? Well, because my definition of success, I think, is, like, I maybe when I was younger, like, wanted to be Madonna, but I don't, um, as long as I have enough money to do the things I want to do, then that's, like, my barometer of success. I got a squeaky chair. Yeah, I'm like, what is that? I, I, I thought that was like a cat. I'm like, no, that's definitely me. So that's uh, that's kind of annoying. Yeah, like enjoying the shows and enjoying my life. Because, I mean, you could be really successful and be miserable because I've been around famous, successful people, and they don't seem particularly – they, like, live in a prison of their own fame. So I really don't want to be famous. So, like I was saying, like, doing these solo tours, like, okay, I'll make enough money to, like, fix up my house. I, like, got a furnace. And I'm going to get a wood-burning stove. Yeah. <laughs> Those are, like, my goals. <laughs> it's like, if I can get my house, like, fixed up, then I am a successful person. And um, I'm enjoying the gigs because, you know, I just like to sing. And if people want to listen, I'll sing for them. Mm -hmm. Except for you when you ask me to play another song. Because <laughs> you're a diva. <laughs> <laughs> well, uh, what time do you go on tonight? Oh, that's a good question. Do you have any idea? <laughs> um, probably around 9, I would think. There's two openers. I think... I don't quote me. You probably should go to higher grounds and like check site it out. and check it out. Um, my thoughts are that it, most likely the doors will open around seven and I'll be on around nine. Uh, Chase Cole and Tyler Lyle are going to be opening and supporting as well. Um, so I'm sorry I don't have that information on uh, hand that, for you. That is fine. I was looking at my phone like maybe I'd be able to figure it out, but but no. <sighs> no, I don't know. <laughs> Did you uh, come up with the question yet? Or are you good? You asked all of the ones. Oh, okay. Yeah. I'm, I'm coming to a blank right now. Okay. Um, well, thanks for your support yeah. and for playing my music, for having me. I hope that, you know, if people haven't seen me before and you're considering it, just do it. Come out and see me. Uh, hopefully you'll just love it and then you can come back every time. That's how it starts. So. Very cool. Well, Give it a you. shot. Yeah, thank help you for coming out. Help me get that wood burning stove. Oh, yeah. yeah. <laughs> we will help. Uh, we'll do what we can. Yes, please do. Uh, but I have one request. Will you uh, play Cuckoo tonight? No. Oh, you're killing me. I don't remember how to play that song. Oh, it's been so goodness. long. Uh, That's probably one of my like least favorite songs. Of oh, time. my God. <laughs> <laughs> I love that no, song. I like, no, I like the song. To be honest, the production got a little too fun for me, and then I just sort of grew out of it. Um, I like the story of the song. All right. Um, I could, you know, that's actually a song if I played it solo, might, I might like it again. So if I can remember what the chords are and how it goes, I will try. Okay. Thank you. But thank you. <laughs> You're very welcome. I thank you for having me, and it's been fun. And, uh, 
you know, I'll see you tonight. Yeah, we'll uh, we'll have some fun tonight. It'll be it'll be good. Cool. 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 Well, everybody, take care. All right. Have a good Sunday. Thank you, Lizzie. Thank you. Woo. You're welcome. Nobody 